Good morning, and welcome to Popsy's Private Expeditions 2023 Excursions into Tunisia. It is our duty as gentlemen to lead an interesting life. Welcome to an interesting life, Overland. This series of letters is going to be addressed to my great nephew and namesake, Cole.
The nice thing about being a stick monkey. Yes, yes, you did. It's such a fine job you made of it as well. We've been out on the trail all day long. We've had a great time, seen some interesting things. We had a chance to visit with the uh, Tunisian military. We bumped into one of their police checkpoints or one of their military checkpoints near a uh, petrol uh, production facility. Uh, we did not mean to do that but here we are. So we spent about two hours with them and they were very kind and very polite. Uh, gave us water, we laughed. Our guide, Walid, that we have to have along with us had the paperwork and he had to do some fast talking. Say, oh, well, we're not on the actual tourist trail. We're trying to do some test of equipment, such as the uh, Bagnell Sun Compasses we've been using. And we've been crossing the desert to get well here tonight. It's been really good. We've been very successful. Tomorrow we'll probably head north, uh, about even with Kassar Ghilane, looking for some more evidence of the New Zealand uh, division's crossing of this particular valley. And then we'll head into Kassar Ghilane again for a shower and cold beer. Dear Cole, welcome to Burj Zaimat. This is the, one of the Roman forts called the Roman Limes, built in about the 500s. And it was designed by the Roman armies to keep the Berbers and the Tuaregs from the deep desert out of the Mediterranean section. This would have been a very lonely post. It's been hot today. It's about 110 Fahrenheit. It's been good traveling. Wish you were here. And you get to see stuff like this. Dear Cole, here we are at the end of the day and it's still hot. The wind has just picked up, so I'm sure you can hear the wind noise. And I apologize for that, but the wind's going to die about mid, you know, as soon as the sun goes down. But if you want to see this, I've got to do it now. So you'll have to put up with wind noise. So we've loggered up for the night and we're all camped around this nice big flat place here. And we're in about 12 miles in the middle of the dunes. And there's a nice big flat spot here. So we're going to call it a night. We're going to camp. We've got Jeeves here all set up. And I've got my camp bed behind me and Andy's got his over here. We're about to have some dinner. And let me tell you, we're going to have a good night's sleep because we go to bed about 8 o'clock. <laughs> That's a late night here. And we're up about 4.30, 5 o'clock just because we've had that much sleep. And then we get up and do it again. <laughs> I'm glad you could join me as much as you could on this trip and I hope to see you out here someday. Remember to be brave, be kind, and live an interesting life.